What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the secret sauce. This is my new tutorial series in which I'm about to explain all of the secret sauce to making beats in FL Studio to you guys. So let's get it. I've been making beats for like I don't know seven years now. And in the beginning, it was really hard for me to find out any information about FL Studio or to even understand FL Studio. So if you're a beginner, like I was seven years ago in my room in my little town and my mom's house <laughs> welcome to this video because today i'm going to give you guys all of the secret sauce for making beats inside of fl studio before we get to the video please leave a like please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow my instagram at you with a z and if you have any questions like this please stick around to the end of the video because i might have already answered your question let's get it Okay, so welcome to FL Studio. This is what FL Studio looks like when you first start it up. So if you've never, ever, ever used FL Studio before, welcome. <laughs> Over on the left side, you got your browser. Over here, you got the playlist, uh, which is where you'll be uh, arranging all of your music. Over here, if you press this button right here, you got your channel rack, which is where you will put in all of your uh, sounds that you will use for a beat. To make it simple for you guys today, I will be using a melody loop. Uh, instead of making a melody from scratch to make this basic beat because I just want to show you guys the basic functionalities of FL Studio and some basic tips on how to get started with making beats. Stick around for the next episode on how to make melody loops. I'll start by dragging in a sample which is pretty simple. You just open up any file place on your computer and just drag in a sample. What you need to remember is that uh, if you drag in the sample to your FL Studio just make sure that you keep it in a folder where you won't remove it because FL Studio won't be able to find the sample anymore later. Do not remove your samples from their plates where you drag them into FL Studio because FL Studio will lose the file, bro. And that shit fucked up. Bro. So here's the melody loop. It's inside of a safe folder where I won't lose it, where it's safe, stored, it's secure. So then you drag it into your FL Studio just like that. You drag it directly into the playlist, which is here. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your tempo is the same as your sample because you have to, you know, for to make a beat you have to work in a certain BPM range. Your BPM is right here, this is your tempo, you change your tempo by just dragging up or down. You can see that the sample moves with it. So now we're just going to select the BPM of our sample which I just have to quickly find out because I forgot to put the tempo on the sample when I made it. Okay, so our tempo is 105 BPM. You can see that I turned on the metronome by pressing this button right here, which is the metronome, so you can hear the click. We can turn it off right now because we got it. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four bars uh, four times, and then I've got this extra, I don't know, excess file. I'm gonna just cut that by pressing the C uh, button, so I'm changing to the cut tool, and then uh, I'm gonna use my right mouse button to just cut this off so now we got a full uh, 16 bar loop uh, that's ready to go so if we play it sounds like this now you might be asking Chucky but I don't have any samples on my computer so just go over to some sample website like Looperman or Splice or whatever not sponsored and just find a good melody loop to start off with. Especially if you're starting off making beats, it's not really that important that you make everything from scratch. Just try to already get a feel for the software and just try some shit out and don't worry too much about finishing beats or whatever. Just, you know, just try some shit out. That's the most important thing. And before we continue, I would really like to thank Cable Guys, the legendary makers of the Halftime plugin for sponsoring this video. They're currently celebrating the release of their new addition to their Shaper Box plugin called Dry Shaper. Dry Shaper is actually an ultimate distortion toolkit in which you can dynamically uh, automate the distortion to a certain clip. It also works multi-band so you can really choose which frequencies you're targeting and alongside that in the shape box plugin you also have all of the other uh, little plugins inside of that that can automate the tempo the widening the panning the volume and whatnot which is crazy and you can be super creative with these plugins so check it out to the link in the description down below and thank you cable guys gang so let's get it let's add some sounds so the next thing you do is add a pattern uh, in fl studio you can work with different patterns so as i already showed you this is your channel rack channel rack 
contains all of your sounds and then in a pattern you can create different instances of that channel rack. So for example if I add some sounds uh, right here I can arrange them in a certain way and then after that I can make a new pattern to arrange the sounds in a different way. But for now we're going to just stick to this one pattern. I'm going to put it inside of my uh, playlist. So you click on the pattern, put it inside your playlist and I can already drag it out like this uh, and then I'm going to copy it like this. So I've got the same pattern twice because the melody loop is a little bit long to make the pattern last the entire melody loop. So I'm just going to double the first pattern that I got. So the first thing you want to do when you start making beats is have some nice sample packs. Uh, I've got some drum kits at my disposal. <laughs> I've got my drum kits in the description down below. I'm also launching a free drum kit very soon. So there's plenty of free uh, drum kit websites out there so just find some drum kits and put them inside of your FL studio. I'm just going to grab some basic drums uh, like this from my drum kit. Uh, I'm going to select the hi-hat. Sounds like this. Or maybe I'm going to use this one. Yeah. Just drag it in like that to empty spot. So if you drag it on top of this it will actually replace the previous sound so don't do that. Just go like this and you add the sound. I'm also going to use a clap. Uh, maybe a kick and let's also use a little perk this and then uh, an 808 this is how I usually work which is when I found my melody I just first sound select all of the sounds that I might use in the beat and then I continue to write out all of the rhythms and, and whatever the drums need to do. Now we can go ahead and create a kind of rhythm. So this channel rack will actually play the same as this playlist, uh, especially when you got the, uh, the song mode selected here. So if you got the song mode selected, it will play the playlist. If you got the pattern mode selected, it will only play this pattern. So it will not play, see it's playing, but you can't hear the melody loop because it's not inside of this pattern. So I'm going, to, I'm going to back to song mode and start by adding a hi-hat. Uh, we can do it like this. Click the hi-hat in like this. Or we can also select, uh, fill each two steps. It will, will do the same thing and, and you got this. And if I just extend it like this and press fill each two steps, we got a fully extended. Uh, as you can see, the pattern is actually twice the length of this channel rack uh, menu right here. This is because FL Studio has this weird kind of place where you have the channel rack, but it's at the same time also uh, a piano roll type thing. So here you go. This is the channel rack. But if I want to continue to edit this a little bit further, you just right click this and go to the piano roll. And here you will see the full overview of what you did in the channel rack. So as you can see, I wanted it to double this. So what I'm going to do is go over to the uh, bar the rhythm selection so it's wide so I can't make any errors. Then I'm going to press E on my keyboard to have the selection tool, select everything in the top bar and then press Ctrl B or Command B to just duplicate it to the other side and we just deselect it and we got a full hi-hat pattern. Add the clap. So let's go back to the beginning. So done the same thing, let's go back to the piano roll, doing the same thing with the selection tool and we got the clap everywhere as well. Something like that, I'm, keep in mind I'm making a very simple beat so you can follow along with what I'm doing. Selected everything, command B to copy it, so I've got it set up the way I want to. Next up I'm about to do the 808 and then I'm going to show you guys the mixer channel. First thing I'm about to do with the 808 is right click it and press cut itself. It will make sure that the 808 will literally cut itself every time a new 808 is played. For example if I go like this like or you go cut itself it's a slight difference but it will the 808 will cut itself and not overlap which is really important with a bass sound like that. Let's select a smaller grid size here, play some notes. Below here 
here you will find the velocity control. Uh, you can also select the panning, release, filter cutoff frequency, filter resonance, and fine pitch controls. For now, we're only going to touch the velocity, which is the intensity with which a sound is played. So I'm just for the 808, I want it loud and, and clear, so I'm gonna drag up the velocity. going to change my grid size again so just experiment with the grid size so until you find the grid that you need for the melody you want to do for the rhythm you want to do So sometimes if you can't really hear the 808 when it's down low, what I do is press command A. So I select everything and then press command and the up arrow. So you just pitch everything one octave up so you can clearly hear uh, which notes the 808 are and then you pitch it back down later. So I go back to control A, control down arrow and we got the 808 pattern press e to select everything select it like that command b and so we got the full pattern this is everything i'm going to add to the beat for now because i think we might already be going fast for some people but you know pause the video go back try and get what i said you know going to just show you guys one final thing for today which is how to put everything to the mixer channel let me just go back to the playlist you press this button you will go to your mixer channel and here's where you will route all of your sounds to and where you will be able to have uh, control over every single sound, add plugins, effects, whatever to the sounds that you've, you've selected. In FL Studio, for some reason, don't ask me why it is the way it is because it's the only software where it's like this. Sounds can actually be in your playlist without being routed to any mixer channel bus and only being routed to the master channel but we want to change that because it's not it's not you you can't have a good overview if you don't do it so what you're going to do is go back to the channel rack where all of your sounds are select everything by holding shift and clicking every sound and now you've got every sound selected and you can press Control l or command l which is the l stands for link so you link it to a mixer channel you will see that the numbers here changed this is the mixer channel that these sounds are selected to so if I go back to the mixer right now you will see all of the sounds are playing through these buses and then going to the master channel which is here the master channel is the main output of your beat uh, where all of your sound gets routed to so now that we got individual control over our sounds you can start by I don't know, for example, adding an effect on the melody. Let's say if you wanted to add some reverb, you go over here, you press, uh, I'll, I'll go more into detail about this later, but you just go into your effects channel, you add some reverb or whatever. And now you got some extra effects on that melody. Uh, then one final tip before I'm going to leave you guys for today and let you guys experiment for yourselves is Add a soft clipper on your master channel because this is one of the most important things in FL Studio and to make sure that your beats aren't too loud or there's not you won't destroy your speakers so just go over here and on the bottom slot add a fruity soft clipper which is one of the most important things in FL Studio really it's it's the biggest FL Studio sauce I can give you guys you'll thank me later so you're welcome but I just gave you the biggest FL Studio sauce and existence put a soft clip in your master all of the sounds are inside of one pattern and that's not good for our individual control so what i do is i first always put all of the sounds that i want to have in the beat inside of this channel rack and then when i'm done adding all of the sounds or or almost all of the sounds i just remove this pattern it's still here so don't worry it's not gone and then we just go over here we split it by channel so now this pattern will become all of our individual sounds each inside of one separate pattern. So we can just select all of these by holding shift and clicking them and then we can just drag them into our playlist like this and then we got all of our sounds. With all of these selected I hold shift and click and drag to 
duplicate them so we've got the same as we had before. And now with all of these separate elements you can start by I don't know making a little structure for yourself so for example I'm going to just duplicate the melody as well so shift click and drag E for the select tool select these P for the pencil tool shift click and drag shift click and drag so you got this little structure here and for example you can give yourself a little intro by removing the bass here so you got this let me make a little structure uh, I'll just add some little bit of, of, of effects and whatever to show you guys what's possible with a simple beat like this and then let's listen to the end result but before that let's answer some of your questions how do I get my name out there as a producer Bro, just start making music, start collabing with people, collab with other producers even in other countries or start working with people in your city or in your area or in a, you know, with different artists and just network with people and eventually you'll get there. Bro. How can you stay motivated as a starter? I lose it quickly because I'm a beginner. When I was a beginner, I was so motivated. So you have to be motivated, bro. You have to want to make music. You have to love making music. If you don't really love making music, it's gonna be hard to actually become a professional musician. Bro. How do I make a better mix? Just train your ears, bro. Like it's the, the most important thing for a good mix is that you train your ears and get a feeling for what sounds good and you just apply that to your mixes. How do you legally use samples that you find online? It depends on which samples, bro. If you just take a song that you find on the internet, you won't find any legal way to use that but if you want to find a legal way to use samples just use royalty free samples like you can find on Looperman or Splice or whatever if you got a license to use a sample you're legally allowed to use it how did you start and who helped you in the beginning I helped myself bro there wasn't no chicky bees doing tutorials on YouTube the only guy that was there was busy works beats so shout out to busy works beats but I don't know bro it's about finding all of the information, finding it, helping yourself, improving, and you'll learn, bro. You'll learn eventually. So let's get it. All right, so I finished the beat a little bit. I added the little drop effect. I added my voice tag. So let's listen to the end result. Before we end the video, follow my Instagram, at Beats with a Z, because somebody else saw my name. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and stick around for the next subject, because in the next video, we're going to find out all the secret sauce about making melody loops. Let's get it. Fire. It's a bro, it's a beginner.